So, the first thing that you're going to need is one pack of unflavored gelatin. You can just get this from your local grocery store. You're also going to need, um, oh, I think this is a, a cup or half a cup. Oh, yeah, half of half a cup of shower gel or liquid soap. I just have shower gel from Bath & Body Works. One teaspoon of salt, any kind of salt you have. I just had sea salt, I think. And then you are also going to need a spoon, anything to mix any your stuff with. You're going to need three-fourths cup of boiling water and make sure that it is boiling and not warm. And you're also just going to need some molds. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is just dump your three-fourths cup of boiling water into a big bowl. And I totally forgot to tell you guys this, but you also need a big bowl. And then just take your um, packet of unflavored gelatin and then just put that into your bowl. And then just mix that up until all the gelatin is all dissolved. And then you can just take your one teaspoon of salt and mix that in until that dissolves. And now all you're going to need to do is just take your shower gel or liquid soap and then just dump that in there. And later on I will show you that you can actually color it to color like your shower jellies, whatever color you want. And before you put in um, your shower gel and stuff, I would recommend dyeing your water, like your boiling water, before you put in the shower gel or liquid soap. Because my shower gel... Um, like I said, it's from Bath & Body Works, and it turned everything, like, a cream color. Like, after I mix this all in, you will see that I turned it into a, cr a cream, like, color. And when I put, and I tried to make purple, and when I did that, it kind of turned into, like, a grayish purple, which I did not want at all. So that was my mistake, so definitely dye your water before you put your shower gel in, because otherwise yours will end up like mine, which looks very ugly. <laughs> And so now all you're going to need to do is just pour your liquid concoction that you made into whatever mold you want. I just have these, um, what are they called, ice trays that I just use as mold. And I didn't really have anything that looked like a mold that the Lush um, molds, like what they actually look like. But um, I just used this and then I was also going to use like a flower mold, but I guess I didn't. And then all you have to do is just wait about two hours, but I didn't wait two hours because I thought that it wouldn't turn out good like I don't know I waited literally like overnight so literally at like 2 o'clock p.m. till the next day in the morning and then I finally took them out because I really wanted to make sure that they were good and then um I think they turned out really cool they're all they're like so squishy and I just love 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 how they turn out they're so squishy and when you use them it smells so amazing so yeah and if you guys like this video should you should totally give it a thumbs up and totally subscribe if you are new to my channel so you can come you so then you can become a part of my Lisa Marie's internet kids family and I hope you guys like my new end slide after this video I think it I made it and it took me forever so I hope you really like it and yeah totally subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye love you always